What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JDD TV. I'm your host Josh and today things are getting things are getting done. The uh, the transfer window is slowly coming to fruition here. We still need a few signings. I've gone out many times here on the channel and said Dortmund need two signings. Two simple signings. Someone who can play center back, someone who can play right back combined into one player. Ideally, someone, you know, who, who's a household name, but at this point, us Dortmund fans will take just about anyone and a winger. And a winger. And it seems like out of absolutely nowhere, we found one. We found one. And I, I, I'm curious to see what you guys have to think about it. It's not the Jeremy St. Juice. It's not, like I said, the household names, the, the players everyone was expecting to get. But it's a player, nonetheless, that we desperately, desperately need. Not only for uh, for the fact that we're so light, but that he's versatile, and it's Prongovic, and and I'm excited. Martin Prongovic from Wolfsburg, he apparently is available. This one, like I said, kind of came out of of left field. He he's a player who used to play at Salzburg, so Marco Rosa is familiar with him. He's not overly used that much at Wolfsburg. They made him available, and even Fabrizio Romano have tweeted out that Borussia Dortmund will sign Martin Prongovic. So. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's one of the players, like I said, that hits two positions for one. He can come in, play as a center back when we need it, which guess what? We desperately need someone who can play as a center back with the lack of depth. Hummels, Chan are still out. He can also play as a right back. Push Munier if he's having per iffy performances. Is he the exciting player that we all wanted? No. But I told you guys, this is going to be a stopgap type of transfer window where loan signings will be key. It does seem... To, for anyone who cares, it does seem that we'll get him on a loan with an option to buy. And and I like it. So we're going to get in the comments that. The other one today we're obviously talking about is Callum Hudson-Odoi. And it seems like they've agreed a terms with Callum Hudson-Odoi. Everything seems to be in place. The only thing is that Chelsea seem to be wanting to hold on to him until they find a replacement. And I don't understand what that means considering they have so many players as is. I just think it's a matter of time, but we'll be keeping an eye on BBB News Blog today as well. Very, very good source in terms of being able to get uh, to get things done, so I'll be keeping an eye on that. The other thing, just for those of you guys who are curious from other transfers, Witzel looks like he's staying. Uh, Lazaro, we were we were linked with, looks like he is uh, he is not coming to Dortmund. He looks like he's going to sign for Benfica. And finally, the other one that we were taking a potential look at was uh, was Delo, and it doesn't look like he's leaving United. So two transfers, and I know what I'd be happy with both: a winger, Cal Hudson Adoy, uh, maybe an option to buy. I, I don't know if there's gonna be an option to buy, and Martin Prognovich would be a good one as well for the right back, center back positions. But I've updated you guys. We're gonna be chilling here as a nice little hangout, just shooting the. Uh, the sugar and talking about some transfers and hopefully some breaking news will pop as we're live here but let's get into it now if you guys are excited that Dortmund finally looked to be a little bit active where we desperately need them to be be sure to drop a like guys on today's stream subscribe if you're new and say hello in the chat and give me your opinions on the two men that we are linked with Luke Carey says let's go sign both I beg yeah yeah I beg too man I beg too swap down Donny Van de Beek for Witzel plus 10 million loan Hudson Odoi and get um, a matter wake up next year. Interesting. I mean, Donny Van de Beek, I would take in a heartbeat. I don't know how that will work. I don't think we're going to let Witzel leave. And Van de Beek isn't a six, isn't a proper six to take over from Witzel. I don't think we should let Witzel. I don't think we should let Witzel go. I really don't. I think it would be, I think we would regret it. Keep him for this season. Don't panic so close to the end of the transfer window. Keep him for the year and then let him walk. If you can bring in Donny Van de Beek on a loan regardless, do it. I don't think that's a possibility. Um, Matt Awake is an interesting one for a couple reasons. Is I don't I don't think that he's gonna gonna come in. And I do personally think that there could be an option to buy with Callum Hudson Adoy. So a lot of you guys have been uh, messaging me on Twitter saying, Josh, will there be a loan deal? Will there be a, an option an obligation? I don't 100 percent know, but this is my assumption. I do think that there's not a long-term future with Callum Hudson-Odoi at Chelsea. And if there's any Chelsea supporters in the chat, guys, 
j say hello and let let us know. Uh, I have a special guest we're gonna have on if the transfer does go through to get a bigger insight on Cal Hudson Adoy. But for right now, from what I understand, it doesn't look like Cal Hudson Adoy will have a long term future. And I could see it going down one of two ways. I could see it going down with a loan deal, and then we just ship him back to Chelsea, is what it is, a little stopgap. Or I could see Chelsea being strategic, sort of in the way that they do transfers. We saw it with Tammy Abraham. I could see them doing a loan deal with an option to buy for, let's say, 35 mil. We buy Callum hudson if he's if he's good for us. But I bet you any money, any money, if there's a deal like that, there will be a... Uh, there will be a uh, buyback for Chelsea. So like they did with Abraham, they sold him for 40. There's an 80 buyback. If they sell hudson Adoy to us for 35, I guarantee you there'll be like a 60 buyback. So a loan deal with option to buy for me for both deals are perfect. And it seems for our uh, uh, Pondervich, it seems like it's going to be coming in for about a loan with a 10 to 12 million buy. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But... Um, that was a good question. Oh, more statement, but I like it. Hashtag free Hudson Adoy. <laughs> Hi, Josh. I don't care much about the Bromwich guy, but he looks like he's a good backup. I don't know how much he can play at right back, but in the, if a, a three center backs will definitely be good. Um, yeah, and that's fair. And and again, he's, like I said, he's a very similar profile player to St. Juiced. You guys kept saying, we want St. Juice. We want St. Juice. We need him to come in. Uh, we need a right back. St. Juice is not a right back. Bromwich is not a right back either. He's not. Pranovic is, is a center back and probably similar to St. Jude's can play in a back three. I absolutely agree. But he can be a makeshift right back. And that's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what we needed. Two loan signings with options to buy would be spot on. Callum hudson Doy, Marin Pranovic. It would it'd be perfect because we got that, that versatility at the back, that depth and where we desperately need. And a winger and Callum hudson Doy could be a wild card. And that's why I'm really excited and hoping he does come in, especially with an option to buy. Because if he's good, Guess what? We can buy him. He can be ours. And if he's not, send you right back to Chelsea. Thanks for uh, giving us more options. But what do you think Dortmund should play with the back five? Wouldn't that ruin our pressing? It depends. It depends. Like I said, every every game should have a different a different plan. There's a lot of different positions and formations that work. What the Freiburg game had four two three one written all over it. Absolutely all over it. Marco Rosa went with the four one two one two. That would have sucked. I. I would have honestly thought that the three, a three four two one, three four one two would have worked really well against a stubborn Frankfurt or yeah Frank, so Freiburg, uh, starting eleven. But we didn't see it. That's so yeah. It'll depend. Back threes will be useful, but it's hard to play back three when you have two center backs at the moment. So <laughs> I don't get the uh, Prangovic transfer. He's not good enough for Wolfsburg. Why for us? We just need a center back. Um, he's just a center back, and we need a right back. So. Just for, to give some context, guys, our backs are against the wall. That's as simple as it is. I, uh, I've said it many times on the streams. If you're, ex ex remember this, remember, a lot of you guys will remember this. Picture your ideal transfer for Dorman. Picture your ideal, someone that you're like, you know what? You're, you're Jeremy St. Juice, you're Max and Slokwa. Picture them, rule it out. And now find a similar profile player that could be available on a loan. And that is what we found. The, the transfer makes a lot of sense. Is it the quality of player that us Dortmund fans want? No, it's not. The quality of player we want is someone like Maxence Lacroix. That is the Wolfsburg center back we want. We cannot afford him whatsoever. So these kind of deals are strategic. They make a lot of sense. And they will probably happen. Getting Kyle Mutzen odoi getting Marin Panovic on a, on a loan deal gives the, us all, all, all the power. Because if they're good, we can sign them. And if they're not... We can flip them back. Thank you for the stopgap. Hopefully, with COVID coming to an end, we'll have more money next summer and we can target someone else. It's a win-win, but do not expect a signing, honestly, of any higher quality than these type of players. And, and I like Callum hudson -Odoi. I do. I don't think that's a bad transfer whatsoever. But I do take your guys' point. Um, it looks like he's set to join BBB on a loan. He is, baby. He is. Hertha are going to get relegated. <laughs> Union uh, I, yeah, I agree with that. Um, did you see what, uh, no, I did not so, want to send it to me, OC. Um, didn't the Adoy deal collapse? It did not. The last I've heard is that they've agreed personal terms, but Chelsea want a replacement to come in before they're willing to sell, which makes zero sense. 
They already don't play him. They don't have, I mean, they have plenty of depth. I mean, Ziyech, um, Havertz, Mount, Werner, Lukaku. <laughs> I mean, they don't really need him. And if you put him out on the wing, I mean, you have James and, and Asilicueta. It's It doesn't make a lot of sense for them to keep him. But uh, Cal hudson Doy will be the same kind of deal as Abraham with Chelsea having the option to buy him back. Aha, Akanji, great minds to think alike, and I absolutely agree. Um, he's one of their academy boys. He'll be happy to go to BBB to develop further, and he can be versatile. Angie, I, I'm spot on. And that's what I said. It's going to go one of two ways, I think. I think it's going to go a, a just a simple loan deal if they can't figure out a way to get it done, or it will be a uh, option to buy. But you got to guarantee, I can guarantee you, if that happens, there will be a... Uh, there will be a buyback for Chelsea. Is he good? I heard he can play both right back and center back, which is needed. Like I said, if, if he's up to the quality of players that we're looking to uh, to get, um, no. I mean, he, he's he's not. But we we need bodies. We need players in. And it is so late in the window. There's not a lot of options. So you know what? I'm happy. He's I, he's familiar with Marco Rosa. It makes me very comfortable. Marco Rosa. And he, honestly, he's got Bundesliga experience as well. So um, for, for a makeshift, What's what's to lose? Experience Marco Rosa, Bundesliga experience, available on a loan, no risk, and if he's good, we can buy him for a relatively cheap price. And if not, again, back over to uh, to Wolfsburg we go. Sabitzer in Bayern, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's just it's not helping the cause of people uh, of people saying that Bayern. Uh, dominate the Bundesliga considering they took Nagel Smith, Ubamakano, and now Sabitzer, but I mean it's an unbelievable deal and it's a very typical Bayern deal, so not surprised. Uh Hudson Adoy is decent bro, I know. And I'm excited I'm excited for him. Uh earlier you guys know I was pretty critical about not wanting to sign him, but it was when it was a swap deal to uh to Dortmund and I was really against it. And here we are. Someone speaking of it. Hi, Josh. I did tell you a couple months ago that Tammy Abraham and Katana Doi could be ideal options for BBB. Tammy Abraham has gone to Roma for 35 and had an amazing debut. You did. A, a, a bunch of you guys did. And there was a lot of debate. There was those rumors. Don't know how legit they were. Uh, Hudson Doi, Abraham being used as makeshift deals for Holland going over to Chelsea. Obviously, they didn't materialize. We kept Holland. They signed Lukaku. Uh, but yeah, I didn't like the deals at the time because I didn't want to see anything whatsoever happen that would make us lose Holland. This is different. We've played a few games. We can uh, we can see where we're weak. We're weak in a couple different areas. One, zero depth. Axel Witzel was playing as a center back. Unacceptable. Passlack was getting minutes as a right back. Unacceptable. Martin Pranovic is going to answer both of those things. And then we can't switch formations because we don't have any wingers. Callum hudson Doy can come in. Both of these transfers make so much sense. It's not even funny. And I'm praying, praying, praying they both get done because it's so important for Dortmund going forward. And can you imagine having two bodies like this come in to a team that had, had, had those rough couple games. But, I mean, we're 2-0-1 right now. We have a lot of talented players. We have two, three different systems we'll be able to play. It makes a lot of sense. Um, why does everyone hate? They're, they're mad because he's he's an, uh, a backup for Wolfsburg. And it makes sense. We're a better club. Or that's kind of harsh, but you get what I'm saying. Our, our quality of squad is higher than Wolfsburg. And I don't think that's much of a debate. Uh, Wolfsburg's got a very good squad, and I mean, they're top of the table right now, but they're, but us D Dortmund fans are taking a look and being like, okay, if he's not good enough to play for Wolfsburg, why is he good enough to play for Dortmund? Well, guess what? Beggars cannot be choosers. We have almost no other option. No other option. St. Jude's was the dream, but Mainz isn't willing to sell. They know we're stuck. I'm honestly surprised Wolfsburg is, but Wolfsburg has spent a lot of money. They've brought in a lot of players, and they just um, brought Luka Pacquiao in from Hertha Berlin as well, so maybe they need to balance the books. And guess where you're going to find the most bang for your buck? Selling within your league. Selling to a Champions League title contender. So it, it kind of makes like sense. And plus, apparently, he's not that needed at Wolfsburg. They have solid defense in Lacroix and Brooks. But he'd be huge for us because we are just so lacking in depth. It's not even funny. He does have some injury troubles, which worries me, though. Uh, we don't need Delo right now. Um, I would have took Delo if it meant just getting him in. But uh, I... I Delow is not a center back. I mean, I like I said, I I only see us, and I've been saying it for honestly a month. I see us getting in two signings. One of those two has to be be able to play two different positions. So Delow can't. So that's one. So then you're gonna have to find someone who can play as a winger and a center back. <laughs> you're not gonna find that. So you get an Adoy for a winger, you get Perhonovic for uh for a center mid and and right back, and you're fine. 
You're fine. Kyle Hudson Odoi is good, and Chelsea don't need a replacement. They have enough. He wasn't playing a lot. I know, and I don't, I don't get it, but Angie. But if you guys are just tuning in today, be sure to drop a like on this stream. Subscribe if you guys are new, and uh, give me your guys' opinion on our potential new transfers. Is uh, I'm just gonna be refreshing Twitter here. All right, we got an update from BBB News Blog. Hudson Odoi's representatives remain in talks with Chelsea officials about allowing him to leave on a straight loan to BBB. However, it's up to Chelsea to decide whether Hudson Odoi's development is best served on loan or part of the squad. So that's interesting. So that new one that just came out a couple minutes ago tells me that it doesn't look like they want to uh, they want to straight up sell him. So maybe it is just a simple loan deal and brought back. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see because he is a Chelsea Academy player. But I don't know. It's going to be it's going to be interesting. I'm jealous of Bayern. They got Sabitzer. I know. And they got him for such a dirt cheap price. It's it's ridiculous. Hi, Wash. Hello, my friend. I still can't buy a membership on mobile. Sticky Joe. That's okay. That's okay. I think you should be able to do it on on a laptop or a computer if you want to become a member. We have a few of them chilling in the chat right now. OC is one of the boys. Chelsea, just let him go. He would have loaned him. <laughs> Fair. Why the effort Chelsea playing so hard? Everyone knows Callum hudson Doy is on the fringe. I'm assuming because it's Chelsea. Um, but the latest thing I just read makes me think that there may not be a option to buy, which I think would, would bum me out a little bit, but I still think we need to get him in no matter what. We're never going to... Uh, we're never going to get an option to buy Kamal Tadoy. I disagree. I disagree. Um, we we absolutely could as long as there's a buyback for Chelsea. Uh, we see Chelsea does it all the time, all the time. And we'll never get Kamal Tadoy without a buyback for Chelsea because that's a loss. More than likely, like I said, it's going to be a loan or it's going to be a very nice buyback. So it'll be like you spent Dortmund, you spent 35 here, and we have 50 to bring them back if we want to. Something along those lines. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Adoy's decent, bro. He can play in multiple positions. He can. He can play as a wing back. I don't like him as much as a wing back. I'd like him in a 4-2-3-1. Uh, we'll have to see. Kyle Milton Doy is fast. He's perfect for BBB. It's up to Tuchel now. I know. I hope so. I hope so. I'll say that these signings are fantastic. Canadian prospects. Josh as a winger and producer T as our center back right back. I'm pretty sure they'll take a pay cup because they love the cup. It's a win-win for us. Well, there you go. Producer T played as a keeper. Producer T played as a keeper, but you know what? We can stick him with right back. He's, he's quick. Um, so it's very important to the team. We won't let him go for one more season. I agree. Um, what do you think about signing of the Wolfsburg defender? I think it's an excellent signing, considering the fact that we have no other options, guys. We have no other options. I don't know. I said names are going to start flying, and find someone like your St. Juiced, and then find a player who's similar. And that's exactly what Dortmund did. Plays as a center back, can play in a back three, can make be a makeshift right back. Nailed it. Kyle Hudson Doy be a great signing for the wings. However, we still need a right back. Passlack isn't up to standards, so we look into into it more. Well, that's where um, Panovic comes in. Panovic comes in right there because he can play as a makeshift right back, but he's primary. He was more of a center back than a right back. So I, I take your point, but I promise you he'll start over Passlack. I wouldn't necessarily say um, Matawaka is better than Kyle Hudson Doy. Chelsea would just want an option to give him back for sure. Yeah, I mean, Noni is going to have an excellent year, and I know that we were cl maybe close or somewhat close or interested in a deal with him, but I said, guys, I wouldn't hold your breath on him. I think that he's going to have a huge season at PSV, and I think there's a good chance he may stay for another season at PSV, but he may just bypass the Dortmund option and go back to the Prem. Um, if Kyle hudson Doy deal collapses, will we go for another winger? That's what I'm ner nervous about. I haven't read anything. The only other winger that was linked to us was Lozano, and he's in... Ben or he's in... Uh, He's very close to signing for Benfica right now. So um, we're going to have to wait and see. But as of right now, we got to pray that hudson Doy deal gets done. A lot of comments coming in today. Holy, you guys are killing it. If I go over someone's comment, I'm sorry. There's a lot coming in. So just ask it closer to the top. Uh, but I appreciate everyone tuning in. Be sure to drop a like. Say hello. Um, bro, loan is better. Loan is better, but I always want an option to buy him because it, it, it's a win-win for, for Dortmund. Um, if he's successful and there's a loan deal for 35, we nailed it. We nailed it. Uh, Josh, you need, really need to break out of the transfer window. Take the international break off and watch the World Cup qualifying games. Uh, I'll be doing watch-alongs for sure. Content is not going to stop, my man. But I appreciate you thinking I've been putting in a good amount of time. Um, so
it's my wage now, my man. So expect a lot of streams, expect, expect a lot of content, but uh, the everyday streams will probably take a little bit of a break during the international break, but we'll be doing our Canadian watch alongs because I'm excited for World Cup qualifiers. Eric says four, two, three, one. Here we go. It, it could be uh, with Kyle Hudson and Adoy. Um, for US men's national team fans, it could make, make things interesting for Gio. I think the front four would be Royce, Cam, Gio or Mullen on the left, Hudson Adoy on the right, and then of course up front would be would be Holland in a uh, in a four two three one. You could also play Royce on the left, Gio through the middle, and Hudson Adoy, which would leave out Mullen. It's gonna be interesting. I think that it would be a good replacement for Sancho. I do as well. Van de Beek is awesome. Dortmund can get him. I wish. I wish, but I don't know, man. Hudson Adoy broke into the England squad two years ago. He almost signed for Bayern a couple seasons ago, and Chelsea persuaded him to stay. Um, his first team opportunities are limited. They are, and it's hilarious to see how uh, how close he uh, he was to that Bayern deal because I believe he really wanted to go. They convinced him to stay, but Chelsea does what Chelsea does. They go out and they just buy. They buy, they buy superior talent. With no disrespect to Hudson Adoy, but they go out and drop a lot of money. Havertz, Werner, and it just puts Hudson Adoy further down the pecking order. So if I'm Hudson Adoy, man, I want to leave too. And you were already linked to the to the Bundesliga. You've seen young English players be successful in Dortmund. For the player and the club, this deal does make a lot of sense. I know I'm skeptical about signing English players. You guys know that. Why? Hudson Doi is not going to be a lifelong Dortmund player. Let's not kid ourselves. But I mean, if we can get him in for four, even four or five years, I mean, he may love it here. And he know and he's been in the Prem. It's not like he's he came over at like Sancho did and hasn't got that look. He's been in the Prem. Hasn't really worked out for him. Now it's a time for him to maybe look elsewhere. So I don't know. I'm I'm really starting to open up for the uh, for this option. Uh, Steve says a loan with an option to buy would be great for Calum Hudson Odoi, but must buy after a year is not not good. I agree. Josh, if you remember, I said I think Leverkusen finished third this year, had a Leipzig, and by the way, they're they're playing. I don't think I'm gonna get disappointed. Hey, touche, my man. Like I and if you guys remember correctly, I said that Jesse Marsh is gonna be in for a real eye opener. And one zero and two start for Leipzig is simply not good enough. Uh, he had a really impressive win over Stuttgart, but it's followed up with a disappointing loss and a quite, quite frankly, a, a poor performance against Wolfsburg. But yeah, I mean Leverkusen's playing pretty well. Wolfsburg is overachieving in my opinion, but they've recruited very well. Uh, pretty pissed about Delo. I'm a little bummed too. I'm a little bummed too. But like I said, I can only see a couple players coming in. Um. And so, are you now approving of Calum Hudson Doi as the perfect example of desperate time called for desperate measures? OC, I don't think I could have said it any better myself, my man. Yeah, desperate times called for desperate measures. This window is coming to a close, and it, it helps to getting a visual of what this Dortmund team looked like. And watching a four-one-two-one-two, a formation I was already very skeptical about, looked horrible. It really did. We need we need options on the wings. Hudson Doi, for so many reasons, does make a lot of sense. I think he's keen to come. I think that if we do take that purchase option, if Chelsea allow us to, he could stay here for a few years. He really could, because he had that experience with uh, with uh, with Chelsea, and it hasn't quite worked out. Um, I'm not saying he's going to be with us for five, six, seven years, but maybe three, four, if it happens. It'll all depend, though. It'll all depend. Um, fans say that he's Wolfsburg fans say that he's worse than pass like at right back. Also, a player who's uh, too bad for a four center back for Wolfsburg. Also, bad character. Interesting, TG. Interesting. Wish I could, wish there was a Wolfsburg players I could get in. I, I would be curious to see see some information about him. The, but like I said, Marco Rosa has worked with him, has worked with him. So that makes me a lot more comfortable. And I think the fact that, like I said, desperate times call for desperate measures. Look at our depleted back line. Hummels, Chan, a lot of players being out. He can come in and do a job. He's familiar with Marco Rosa. Who knows? This could be a complete breath of fresh air, and it's a loan deal. I don't see any other players stepping up and being able to target. So we need somebody, somebody, and it looking like it may be him. Uh, Josh, I think Rainier should go to Real. He's got getting no chances here. Yeah, I didn't think he should stay. I thought he should have went back, but he's not going to play much, man. He is not going to play much. Let's let's be honest. Bayern just signed Sabitzer. Of course they did, and on a dirt on a dirt cheap deal too. Why not, man? Why not? Quite ridiculous, but. <laughs> um, Hudson Odoi can kickstart his career at BVB. He's a good replacement for Sancho. He needs to move, find regular football. Um, he does, and, uh, and I, I agree with you 100%, man. And I'm really excited to have uh, have a, another content creator come on the channel. If this deal goes through, 
I'm really going to pick his brain about Hudson Adoy coming to this team and what, what it can mean for Dortmund. So look out for that video if the deal does go down. But I agree. I was very critical about the deal, but it's because when I heard Hudson Adoy, it was linked to Holland going the other way. And I was just not having it. I really wasn't. But now, I'd be pumped. I would be pumped because I think he would be. I think he would do really well. And I was really critical on on Tame Abraham coming in as well, like really critical on it. Because I again, it was linked with Holland going the other way, and I just did not want it. And look what Tammy's doing over in uh, over in Italy right now. Two games, and he's had two five star performances. So I think Cutson and Doe would just be released if he came to to Dortmund. His English background was. Does that mean he's going to go back to the Prem? Probably. Probably will. But like I said, I think it might be a little bit different from Jane Sancho's case. Jane San Sancho came very, very young. He found success, and now he wants to test himself in the Prem. Hudson Adoy has been Premier League tested. He's he's now, for his personal reasons, he's done it. It hasn't worked out. I think he's curious. I think he's interested. I think he sees what happened at Jane Sancho. He's got Gio here, who he obviously can talk with. He's got Bellingham. I think it makes sense, man. I really wanted the low. I would have took him. I would have took him, but I think a center back right back is a little bit more important, but he would have been he would have been a breath of fresh air at that right back position, man. I uh I I agree. Um Wolfsburg are actually champions. Wolfsburg had an excellent window. Um, in my opinion, a probably a better window than than we do, man. Um Oh, why the hell are we working on Ponovich's arrival and not focusing on Delo? I think that we were interested in Delo. Like we were really interested in Delo, but it didn't seem like uh, United were willing to sell. So, I mean, like I said, this is what happens when you get pushed back against a window. I think Dortmund were li willing to risk it with what we had. I really do. I mean, my opinion, I think they're like, hey, I'm fine with what we got. We just smacked Frankfurt. That was a first test. We're laughing. I think the Bayern and Freiburg game was a wake-up call. And even the Hoffenheim game, it showed with the fact that Brandt was playing as a CDM because Witzel was stuck over at center back. It's, it's an eye-opener. You need bodies in. So then I think that now the panic's coming in. Options are running out. But I, I know he's not the, the, the glamorous signing we all want and probably need. But he comes in and he will do a job. Uh, and I don't know. If you guys can think of players, realistic targets beyond him, feel free to toss him in the chat, guys, and I'll address them. But the, the, the options are limited right now. And if you can answer that right back, center back in one, and a winger in, in hudson Adoy, I'd feel a lot more comfortable with this season, man. Bayern fans, zero shame on buying Leipzig squad. Under Silva next. <laughs> Look at the irony of the situation. There were people who were suggesting that Akanji can also play right back, and now he's our only fit center back in the squad. Yeah, and Saint, I'm not, I said that all the time. When people were saying St. Juice is going to come in, I said he's very similar to Akanji. If you guys remember correctly, Akanji was playing as a left back and a right back for Dortmund when he just signed. Uh, honestly, it would be a very similar situation to St. Juice. He's a center back but can play as a right back when needed. Tuchel likes Kyle Mutz and just doesn't really need him. I agree. Hi, Josh. What are the news for the day? Good morning. Good morning, White, my man. The big news is today is going to follow two loan signings with potential opportunity to buy. Kyle Mutz and we know him. We love him. We want him to come. And Martin Pranovich is the other one. The Wolfsburg fourth side center back uh, has been linked to Dortmund as that center back right back option. And everything is just waiting today on Callum hudson Adoy. It seems like everything's agreed. It's just whether Chelsea will let him go. And I don't know if that's going to be a possibility, but I do really think it will. Chelsea are the people who keep unused things uh, and refuse to sell. But like I said, if they do sell them to us eventually, like if it's a loan with option to buy, there'll be a buyback option. I promise you that. Don says, drop, Josh is dropping W's. I, I appreciate it, my man. Chelsea, possible invincibles this season? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think anyone will go the entire season without a loss in the Prem. Uh, Callum hudson Doyle will be like people sick. No doubt, going to miss him when he leaves. Interesting, interesting. We got, a, we got a Chelsea fan there, which is good to see. Good to see. Yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot to like about Callum hudson Doyle. When he broke in, it seemed like he was going to be, well, have a similar path to Mount in terms of success. But Chelsea went out and addressed the transfer window after being on a, on a transfer ban, and they brought in Havertz, they brought in Werner. They made it so hard for Kyle hudson to, one, play, and also, two, play in position. So it'll be interesting. I see him on a loan, most likely. Yeah, Angie, from what I'm reading, the last thing from BVB news, news blog, uh, yeah, I agree. It looks like it may just be a loan, but there could be an option to buy with a buyback for Chelsea. That's what we're looking at. 
lot of comments today holy you guys are killing it drop a like guys subscribe if you guys are new around here it's gonna be a fun couple days we're gonna have seeing if uh any transfers are able to come in isaiah's tuned in says pass slack sucks just coming in gonna drop that and head on out oh uh, man i just feel disappointed in this transfer window if we bring in uh Bonavich and we bring in kamata doi i'm fine with it and and i mean i've had i've had people say like josh like, come on, man. You cannot be happy signing Wolfsburg's fourth string right back. And, I mean, I am. I am because if we don't sign him, we may not sign anybody. And if we do, it's it's that risk-reward thing. I, I always talk about with Dortmund. There's not a lot of available transfers. Yes, I get that. There's not a lot. But this player has specific relationships with Marco Rosa. They played together at Salzburg. He's got Bundesliga experience. He's not fitting in overly well at Wolfsburg, and he answers two positions we're desperate in. Will he be a flying success? Odds are probably not. Will he be able to come in and do a job so we won't see Witzel playing center back or Passak playing right back? Absolutely, he will. And guess what? If he's a stroke of genius and he's unreal, we got an option to buy him. And if he's not, like I said, thank you for the loan this year, Wolfsburg. Uh, take him back. Uh, Salon loan to Dortmund. Who says no? Uh, no one would say no, but it, I, it just it just wouldn't happen. Kind of funny that Callum hudson Doy can't bring into Chelsea, partially because of us sending them people sick. <laughs> yeah, we have a better atmosphere than Bayern fans. We 1,000% do. I like this transfer, but Josh, don't you think that scouting has been a lot more hesitant this year? Uh, by that, I mean we've been settling for players we don't usually and wouldn't. Yeah, we've been hesitant because of money. And like I said, that goes back to the point I just kind of made. Um, and I agree, that's an excellent point. But I think Dortmund, like I said... They're holding their money close to their cards, and I think they were hoping to be able to get away with with just the Mullen signing. I personally do. I think they're maybe going to look if the, 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 you know, the cards were there, where anything happened, then maybe bring in one other. But I think that Bayern and Freiburg game was a huge wake-up call. The depth is just not there. The injuries are piling up. They don't have a lot of options, and that's why now they got to be loan deals. they got to be very strategic deals. Loans with options to buy are ideal. But, I mean, if you have to bring in hudson Doy on just the loan, it is what it is. We've backed ourselves into a corner. We were going to take a risk on going this year with simply the players that we have. And it, it sort of backfired now that we're scrambling with a, only hours to go in the transfer market. So, yeah, I mean, we were absolutely hesitant to make any moves. We were hoping that it would work. And now we have a wake-up call, and now, now the board's like, crap. We need to bring bodies in. Um, Oh, Isaiah, 3-1 Canada. We're, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Brady disagrees. Brady disagrees with that. Um, I don't have a lot of confidence in our front office. Uh, ET deal's done at a good price this time around. Yeah, man. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Um, kind of a random question, but do you prefer... Um, or the one... I don't like the one-on-one -on -one sponsors at all. I think they almost ruin the kit. So I, it doesn't matter which ones they were. I'd probably take almost anyone else instead of that unattractive little black box with the big one and one but um i hear more muller than bayern fans <laughs> um dortmund needs to sign julian araujo he'd be a perfect right back and i wouldn't be against it i wouldn't be against it um but it obviously probably won't happen geo is better than mullen cuts in a doy so i ain't worried u.s men's national team fan very confident uh yeah it'll depend though guys the big risk with geo this year is his inconsistency uh, as much as you guys may or may not want to hear it he, last year, was very inconsistent. Uh, this year, I think he's already taken a big step. I think he's been looked and has been a lot better. But if we if we go on on a different route, it could be hard for him. But I, I do think he's a starter right now, and it's his position to lose. If you want to ask me what the front three would look like, it'd be tough. It'd be, or the front four, I mean, Royce probably on the left, and then Mollen or Holland, or sorry, Mollen or hudson Adoy then on the right. Gio through the middle, and up front, of course, would be would be Holland. Um, how do you think that the lineup, uh, if we get Bronovich and Kalmanth and I don't think Bronovich would start because, I mean, we hopefully have bodies back. Uh, but in the pecking order right now for center backs, he's probably the third. The Hummels, Akanji, I'd rather start Bronovich there than uh, Witzel because he moved Witzel back up. Uh, Chan is injured and I wouldn't want to start Chan there. I think I would test him out. Uh, but Kalmanth and makes things interesting because we can switch up shape. And he can play as a wing back. If we go in that 3-4... 2-1 formation, 3-4-1-2. hudson Doy can take over that right-hand side. It'll be very interesting. It gives us a lot of options. I don't know how the lineup will be uh, quite yet. 
When will Hudson Adai sign, sign for BBB? I don't think there's a date. It's not It's not by any any stretch a done deal. It seems like there is real genuine interest, not only from the player, uh, but from from uh, from Dortmund. But it's going to come down to, uh, to Chelsea if they want to let him go or not. I will appreciate Dumbo. Kamal Zidoy wants to come, but Chelsea refused for him, on him. For now, I think they're playing hardball. I think Chelsea probably wants to get something out of Dortmund. I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll have to wait and see. Hey, Josh, love your show. I'm a Chelsea fan, and you're getting a young stud. Sad to see him go. Appreciate the love, Dell. I appreciate that, but it's good to hear. A lot of Chelsea fans have said some pretty pretty good things about Hudson Adoy, and I think he, uh, yeah, I think he really, I think he really, uh, really something that we need right now. I'm gonna toss that up there just for fun. Uh, the Croatian guy is solid. He, I mean, he could be. Like I said, it makes me comfortable that he's got a relationship with Marco Rosa, um, and I think he's just ready for a fresh start, and I'm hoping with are completely depleted uh, back forward. He can come in and maybe do a job. Depending on how Chelsea team develops, I don't see it being alone longer than two, three years tops. So that could be interesting, but I, I mean, more than likely, it'd be, in my opinion, it'll be a one-year loan deal. Uh, it'll be a one-year loan deal because that way there's no risk for Chelsea. If they think that he'll play, they'll ship him out on loan for the year and he'll come back to Chelsea. They'll reevaluate. Uh, if Kalmuth and Doyle says, listen, there's no, there's no future for me here. I don't want to stay. Maybe they, they include that option to buy, and if Dortmund take it up for, say, 35, there will be a buyback option for Chelsea, say, at 60. That is what I'm thinking right now. I don't think it'd be like a two-year loan deal. I think that'd be a stretch, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. One more game, getting tense. Jude is coming to Bayern. No, 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 no. No. But I don't rate Kalmuth and Doi. Very interesting. I'm more excited about Kalmuth and Doi because it, it gives us a lot more options up front, man. Any news on the right back? Panovic is a good fit, but shouldn't play right back. I don't think we're going to bring in more than two players. I think Panovic is going to be the answer to the center back and right back. Because again, I do still think that, that Dortmund see Munier as being successful for us. And if we also get Callum hudson Adoy, if we play with a wing back, I bet you Callum hudson Adoy takes that position up. If we play in a back four, I think it still will be uh, Munier. But after that in the depth chart, there could be uh, Panovic, there could be Chan, and then of course Panovic can play in the middle for uh, our center back. So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. But I bet you that if he's coming in along with Hudson Adoy, there will be no other signing, in my opinion. Would you say Wolfsburg had the best transfer win in the Bundesliga? Yeah, I would. I really would. I, I said at the beginning of the year, I had skept I was very skeptical about Wolfsburg because I didn't think Mark Van Bommel could do it in, in terms of what Oliver Glasner did. But he's answering the critics so far, besides that one substitution, which in all honesty doesn't go down to him. Um, that got him kicked out of the poke hall. But I mean, they got nine points from a possible nine. And they've had an unbelievable transfer window. And they haven't lost anyone, which is also very key. Uh, Wolfsburg can get in the way for champions again. I agree. With the amount of players that they're bringing in, man, it's a very impressive window. I'm going to keep that there just for fun. How many games did Kalmuth and Doy play for Chelsea last season? Uh, what Tuchel wanted him to stay on the bench instead of leaving him alone. Yeah, I don't understand why they would want him to stay. I, I truthfully don't. To me, I think they're just being stubborn. I think the fact that he's a Chelsea Academy player, um, they make it, they don't want maybe the fan backlash. I mean, he is somewhat of a popular player, but he does not play really whatsoever. He he, he doesn't. Uh, and I don't see him getting in in front of a ton of players. I, I don't. Um, I I. I believe in 2021, it seems like he played in 23 games. So had an okay amount of minutes last year. His transfer market value is 35 mil. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's going to have an option this year. Sabots are out. Tyler Adams explosive at CDM. Our Americans, man. Our Americans. How's Jesse Marsh doing so far? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, how's he doing? Uh, the fact that Dortmund are getting Champions League winner is amazing. It's good, another good way of looking at it. Um, Chelsea need a lot of players. Need to sell a lot of players. Yes, they do. Uh, play Mullen in the wing. I agree. Watching him play in Hoffenheim, shifting out to that left, I think he's a little blessing in disguise, man. I really do. I think he's going to play on the wings this year. Reina better than Musala. Uh, Prem is stupid league. You got to go to Bayern, and I think he will. Not sure you're talking about. Um... Josh, I know you're not keen on buying English players as they may not say BBB long. This one, this 
The one thing is when BBB sell those English players like Sancho, you get a big profit from the, the Prem. Yeah, I was very stubborn on that. I was very stubborn on that because, like I said, what's the point? What's the point of just buying the players? Yes, you make good profit on it, but it comes to a point where it just it sometimes gets hard to watch. However, like I said, there's a massive difference, guys. A massive difference. Jane Sancho came in unproven. Never really even touched the field in the Premier League. Came over to Bruce Dortmund and blew up. Completely different. And at a young age, it was always known he was going to go back to the Prem. The difference with Callum hudson Adoy is that he blossomed a little bit in Chelsea. He's played in the Premier League. He doesn't have it in the back of his head being like, okay, I got to go back. I got to test myself. You've done it. You've done it. You've done it. It's fine. Now it's an opportunity for hudson Adoy to go and really sh change his career because it doesn't seem like he's going to get the minutes he wants. And Dortmund is a perfect option. You've seen English players go there be successful. I think that's why he was turned originally by Bayern. And D Dortmund just makes so much more sense. So yeah, I mean, I am skeptical sometimes about English players coming in because I just don't want to lose them we're, where we know we're going to lose Bellingham. Another example, hasn't played in the Prem. He went over to Dortmund. He's blossomed, obviously. He's going to, at one stage, go back to the Premier League. But Kamal Zidoy might stay a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know, but I promise you Chelsea will make sure that they always have the last say. Whether it's just a loan deal to Dortmund or it's an option to buy, that option to go back will be there. Um, all because Atletico's talk with Shellac broke down. Sad. Uh, Rajo is at right back. He is. He is. He'd be nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind him. Abramovich would be a class signing. Underrated in my opinion. Only reason he isn't getting a lot of minutes is because Wolfsburg have a great partnership between Brooks and Lacroix. Very good. I like hearing that kind of stories. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I haven't watched him play too much. I haven't watched him play. I, I simply haven't. Um, I've heard some pretty good things. I know the relationship with coaches is a very important thing to be able to persuade the player. This deal looks like it's going down. Um, watching rumors like this go around, you can kind of tell when a situation is gonna go down. Right now, the Hudson Odoi one, I personally think it's gonna go down, but there is a little bit of unknown. The Promovich deal looks done, almost done and dusted in my opinion. It seems like the player would be keen. I think I bet you it would take one phone call from Marco Rosa to convince him. He's not getting minutes at Wolfsburg. There's an opening at, at Dortmund. He's moving from Wolfsburg to Dortmund, which should be appealing. It makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know if he'll be successful, but he will give us options, man. Um, I've never seen him play. I haven't seen him play too much either, man. <laughs> I haven't. From, from the, some of the highlights vi videos I watched before coming on here, a couple interviews I saw with him, I don't know. I don't have an issue with it because I don't know who else we would go for. All right. The comments today, you guys are crushing it. If you are just tuning in, guys, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe. If you're new around here, guys, say hello in the chat and give me a update on what you guys think of these two transfers today. Uh, a lot of comments are coming in. Uh, what people are not understanding is that Rosa knows Pramovic, and before it's similar to Kobel. They see something in him. Fans cannot assess him, and he blossoms when he gets the chance. Beautifully well said. Beautifully well said. There's a huge impact when a manager wants a player and has been familiar with that player before. There is. There absolutely is. And it's why, like, Lazaro, for example, was another player I was interested in. He's not a glamorous signing. <laughs> Pramovic is not a glamorous signing either, but he's got familiar with our coach, and I think that can give them a little bit of confidence to come in and do a job. Um... He's joining Leipzig. I saw that. It's a good little signing, considering that Barca couldn't figure out a way to make it work. Uh, Hudson Odoi is a win-win. He'll have unlimited game time at Chelsea for BVB. If he does really well in a couple of years, uh, they'll have the English teams and they'll offer big bucks to take him back to the Prem. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea fan here. I'm gonna miss Kalmuth and Odoi. He will help you guys. Here in a couple of good things. Uh, Pramovic isn't our first choice, but he's good cover for CB. Happy if it goes through, and apparently also right back. Guess what? The two things we need, and I've said it for months, guys. I said it for months. I see two signings. I see one who can be coverage for two positions. So that could have been right back or right attacking mid, or it could be right back, center back, and then sign a winger or sign a center back. So Pramovic is the answer. Center back, right back. Hudson Adoy is a winger. Not only a winger, but also a wing back on the right hand side. Both of these signings make a lot of sense. A little bit risk involved, obviously, but every transfer's got a risk. But it, it's exactly what we need, man. It really, really is. How about Callum hudson Adoy? I hope we get him. The most important thing is signing another center back so we can play three at the back. Well, and Pramovic will, will answer that, man. He will answer that. 
I just want Zagadu to return. I wouldn't hold your breath, my man. I don't know what Zagadu's career is going to have in store for him, but he's an injury bug. Um, I think it's going to be tough, man. I really do. Uh, Chelsea won't let go of Hudson Adoy unless they find a good replacement. But it doesn't make any sense because, like, they signed, like, Werner is technically, I guess, that replacement because they, they signed Lukaku, who then pushes Werner down to the attacking mids. Now, I know Hudson Adoy played as a right wing back. You have James there. He's not going to start in front of James. You can also play Aspilicueta there if you really want to. I don't know. It, it, the Chelsea fans are there. How, how do you see Hudson Adoy's replacement looking? Is it a right wing back or is it a winger? Because, I mean, if you look at the 3 4 2 1 that they're playing right now, Lukaku's your striker. If you really need an option up front besides Lukaku, you can play Werner up there. Below on those two kind of floating cams, you got Mount, you got Havertz, you got Ziyech, you got Werner. There's no room for Hudson Adoy. I think Chelsea are just being stubborn. Um, they don't really need a body in, they've got Lukaku. But that's just my opinion. I would like to hear more from a Chelsea fan. As a Freiburg fan, my day got better when we beat Dortmund. <laughs> yeah, my day got worse. If Dortmund can get these guys, I would like to see Dortmund play with a three back. Um, yeah, it could be interesting. Picture this, guys. 3-4-2-1 or 3-4-1-2. Kobol and Net, Kyle Hudson doy as right wing back, even though I do prefer him further up the pitch. Uh, Pramovic on the outside, right center back. Hummels, central center back. Uh, Akanji, left center back. Guerrero, left wing back. Your two center mids. Dehoud Bellingham. Your one cam could be Royce, two strikers, Mollen, Holland, or even Mollen and Royce as your cams, or Gio and Royce as your cams, and of course, Holland up front. Uh, 4 2 3 1, Mollen, Hudson, and Doys on the wings, Dehoud and Bellingham as the six, and that would leave Royce as your cam, and that would leave out Gio. Makes our, uh, makes our US men's national team fans very nervous. Lukaku was an academy player years ago, but not good enough to hold down a position. He was sold to Everton, United, Inter, much improved, and back at Chelsea for big bucks. I like it. I like it. Um, I read that comment. Um, Cal Hudson Doys had an Achilles injury. Let's not hope that he doesn't lose some of his explosiveness. Yeah, uh, and Prom Promich does have an injury background as well, which kind of sucks. Um, and yeah, Cal Hudson Doys did have a big injury. But again, loan deals. We're not paying any big bucks, and we won't be spending a lot of money, if any money, man. They will be loan signings. They will all be loan signings. Spurs laughing everyone's face top of the Premier League. Three and one nothing wins in a row. <laughs> um, Chelsea will loan Callum Hudson Adoy. I'm hoping. OC sent me something on Twitter. Um, all I want to do is go where I wanted and where I'm gonna play. <laughs> it's a ballsy tweet to send out there. <laughs> but thank you, OC, for sending me that. I thought that was actually quite funny. Um, stupid Bayern behind the league. Can Bromovich also play it right back? Yes, he can. But like I said, is it going to be a phenomenal right back that'll take over from Munier? Probably not. Will he be coverage so Pasak doesn't play? Absolutely. Callum has played 1,050 Premier League minutes last two seasons, two goals, three assists. Yeah, a lot of the times Zoe played out of position ish as the wing back, but I think, I think he would come in and do a job. I really do. It's almost like BB doesn't want to track record in developing wingers. <laughs> ah, Mike, fair. Fair. Um, yeah, they have a great track record at young English players. I watched Kamal Tindoy over the years. He deserves an English, England call-up for a few seasons ago. He scored a couple of goals with a few caps. Chelsea's big signing, limited game time. He can shine at BBB. And I think that's what a lot of people are hoping for and honestly are thinking for. Uh, Kamal Tindoy, two-year loan, 32% pay, good for us. I don't see it being a loan, like a two-year loan. I see it being a one-year loan with no option to buy or a one-year loan with an option to buy and then the buyback clause will be in there for Chelsea. That's what I'm picturing. I doubt, if they're so skeptical about letting him go, I don't think they're going to give him on a two-year loan deal. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see. Kamal Tadoy would be great. I do think we need an option to buy. I hope so. I hope so. I don't know, though. I know. I don't know, though. Um, yeah, I don't want to see him go back for nothing. What's with Callum hudson Doy? He's interested in going to Dortmund. Dortmund want him to come in. A loan deal is a fact. It will either probably be a loan deal with no option to buy, and he'll just go back to Chelsea at the end of the year, or a loan deal with an option to buy. But like I said, I promise you, if there is that option to buy, Chelsea will have a buyback. Uh, but it all comes down to Chelsea, because apparently they think that they need a replacement, which 
I don't. <laughs> I don't think he'll play much. If he stays, we'll have to see. Excited for the Bundesliga roundup video. Bruce and mentioned Gladbach have looked good so far. Maybe add... Yeah, I think I might do the the Bundesliga roundup video as a stream for you guys to come in and, and chat about it just because I want to get my Champions League prediction video out for you guys. Uh, I have a, I'm pretty busy this week. Um, and obviously, the, it'd be perfect today. So there may be another stream today on on the Bundesliga roundup or another transfer win, or transfer episode if a, if a sale is made today. Or maybe our roundup stream will be tomorrow and then I'll post my Champions League video predictions tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, so we can do the uh, we can do the um, the power rankings together on stream. I think that would be fun, but we'll see. I haven't decided yet. It's a bit late to start negotiations, but I think uh, a great winger option would be Dusan Tadic from Ajax. He, he would fit the BBB squ squad well. I'm a big fan of uh, Tadic. He's done incredible since going to Ajax, but he doesn't fit the profile player that Dortmund would sign whatsoever. If you're looking at Ajax, it would be uh, David Nurez. It would be Anthony. It would be that player like that. Tadic is way too old um, to come in, and I just don't think that'd be an option, but I do think he's a talented player. More young players are following Sancho to the Bundesliga, and they see English players that are being developed and getting more opportunities. Yeah, I agree. There's that huge trend. Uh, Lookman, Nelson, Sancho, Bellingham. Uh, you're going to see it a, a lot. You are. Um, and I think that's why Hudson Adoy almost went to Bayern, man. Bayern were going to offer 35 mil for him. And Chelsea begged him to stay, and then they went and signed Havertz and Werner. <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. Uh, Chelsea. Chelsea being Chelsea. Um, opinion on Bay Bayern buying the league. It's the most similar, it's the most similar Bayern signing you're going to find. Strategic, almost rip off of a deal from a direct rival. So does it surprise me? No. They got Sabitzer on a beautiful contract, a beautiful deal. Take him from a a title contender, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say it's buying the deal. Leipzig, it, it should have done better. Don't sell to Bayern. Have some common sense then. I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel like it's Bayern's fault. If they came in and they bought ha Holland, I'm not going to be mad at Bayern. I'm going to be mad at Dortmund because Bayern are obviously going to approach that, that route. Leipzig could have sold elsewhere. There was interest from Tottenham. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't blame Bayern. I blame Leipzig. Josh, would you be happy if Zagadou blossoms into one of the best center backs for us? I mean, I, of course I would be happy. Percentage wise, four percent for me, to be honest. <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Give me a percentage right now. Give me a percentage. I'm, I'm just curious from from Dortmund fans out there. Give me a percentage from zero to a hundred of Zagadou having a, a long term productive career at Dortmund. What do you guys think? Give me a percentage. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't. Um, he's, he just, he's, he's injured all the time. He, he had a huge, huge potential when he came to Dortmund. I, I really, really enjoyed watching Zagadou, but injuries time in time out have completely vanished. I see him getting fit and then maybe coming in for a few games, being back injured to the point we end up letting him go. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Cause I don't want to be harsh. I hope Zagadou is successful. Obviously he's a, he's a Dortmund. He's a young player, good young center back. Very highly rated, but it just looks so out of sort that it may not happen. I can't believe we went from almost getting Calum hudson Adoy and Dalo to a random third choice Wolfsburg center half. <laughs> however, however, that center half can also play as a right back. So Delo would have came in and helped on the right hand side with hudson Adoy, but we would have had no coverage for center back. That's the only, the only <coughs> bright side, and <coughs> that's what our friend here says. Finally, a center back. I think Pranovic will be a solid player. If he does well, Dortmund can buy him for 13 mil, and if not, send him back to Wolfsburg. I agree. Very low risk, man. As a Chelsea fan, Pulisic is our best player in Lukaku. <laughs> Zachary, you can't, you can't be serious. Pulisic is absolutely not Chelsea's best player. Um, I th I'm assuming you're joking. I'm assuming you're joking. I know that you're a massive US Men's National Team fan. Uh, but Pulisic is lucky if he's even a starter at this point at ch for Chelsea. And again, I like Pulisic. I'm just, I don't know. I can't tell if you're joking or you're serious. Um, we allow we allow too many opportunities. We need to defend better as a team. Uh, yeah, and I think it'll help putting Witzel up the pitch a little bit as the six. 
Um, and also getting some proper players coming in to, uh, to do a job. The positive thing when BBB has huge profit on selling English players back to the Prem is the money can be reinvested in buying other players and reinvested back into Dortmund. I agree. Tyler Adams breakout season incoming. Fair. Hey Josh, it's been a while since I've caught a live stream. What are your thoughts on Bayern signing? Sabitzer, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's a great deal. It's a very typical Bayern deal. It's the way I look at it. Um, the fact that they pulled that transfer off in general, the fact that they pulled it off with the price they did, Bayern are very good at getting deals done within the Bundesliga to get good players on excellent deals. This is a this is a win-win for Bayern. It is. Plus, it's a player that Nogsman's very familiar with. Um, and it's just dirt cheap. You wonder how they do it. It's something Bayern are good at doing. Uh, a lot of people are saying, I'm sick of Bayern buying the league. That's not Bayern's fault. It's not Bayern's fault. They saw an opportunity. That's why I think that they would look at the possibility of signing... Uh, signing our uh, our Erling Holland, but they may not do it, but they will always look at the opportunity. They got it done. It's a it's a win-win for them, and I blame Leipzig. Um, but yeah, kudos is, I guess, all you got to say. Kalm Hatsudoy, Reyna, Jude, Holland, Mullen, Royce, Hazard, Brandt. Wow, what an attacking beast. I worry for Brandt, though, man. <laughs> I worry for Brandt. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think uh, that would happen. Uh, Tadic is a false nine, but... He ain't a winger. Uh, he can he can play all over the front three, but I mean, with his age and lack of speed, he kind of became a false nine. But they signed Sebastian Haller, so I believe he plays now mostly as a cam, does he not? Uh, I actually play four two three one. Sebastian Haller is the striker. He can play a look maybe as, as an inside forward. But here's our percentages of the long term future of Zagadu. We got 25, 57, 2. Kind of with you. 25, 30, 40, 50. Nine, <laughs> yeah, 20, 29, it's low. I, I, yeah, it's hard to put a lot of faith in Zagadu coming back, man. I, I I agree. Thank you, Josh, for acknowledging that people blame us for Leipzig putting a price tag on Sabitzer for us if they didn't want to sell Sabitzer. I bl yeah, I blame, if, if, if I'm Leipzig, one, get as much money as you possibly can. There's no way you could have got that, that few amount of money for Bayern. Or two, sell him outside of the league. There's going to be interest in him. For sure there's going to be. I don't have all the inside in it, but I mean, it's hard not to blame Leipzig. I blame both Bayern and other title contenders for selling players. Zagadu is always injured, but very skillful defender. Yeah. Yeah. Probably worked under Marco Rosa before, so I think it'll be fine. That's what's making me think that this deal could be good. Where do you see Calum hudson Adoy playing? I see, I see us honestly probably playing a 4-2-3-1, him playing as a right attacking mid for now. We haven't used a back three yet. Now, mainly, maybe that's because we don't have any options because we have no center backs. I don't think by the time hudson Adoy or even uh, any signings come in, uh, we'll have enough center backs to get it done because Hummels is injured, Chan is injured. I think once Chan's back, Hummels is back, Akanji is obviously still healthy, and then uh, Bromwich is in, we may look to do the back three, and then hudson Adoy could potentially be used as a right wing back. But for the time being, right away, I bet you see him in a 4-2-3-1. Kamata Doi is essentially a wide attacking player, not a wing back. I've watched him enough times in England to know Sancho will bring a craft, pace, creativity, and BVB will be a good deal. Yeah, and I agree with you. Um, Hudson Doi, in my opinion, is a winger. He's a, he's a right attacking mid, uh, right wing, left wing probably can play. Um, but he's used a lot because Chelsea played the 3 4 2 1, so he got forced to play as a wing back. If we play or the back three, I don't think I'd have any issues with seeing him play as a wing back, but. I'd prefer him in a 4-2-3-1. I like a 4-2-3-1, but we'll have to see. I'm happy we didn't sign Sabitzer, but I don't like that Bayern signed him. I agree. We didn't need Sabitzer, uh, but it's ridiculous that Bayern pulled it off, man. Would you trade Lewandowski for Holland? No, I wouldn't. Um, not a chance. Just because, obviously, uh, the age and... Why would we give... We'd have Lewandowski for then two years and Bayern would have Holland for a decade. Uh, just joking. Okay, Zachary. I, I, I assumed. I mean, are US Men's National Team fans? They, they're passionate. Um, Pulisic over Havertz, though. Just kick Hatsundoy out. Gio is better than Pulisic, so again, I ain't worried. Positive. Positive. I think that would be probably what we'd see, though. I think it, it, it could hurt Reyna or it could hurt Mollen. The front four in a 4-2-3-1, maybe if Hatsundoy's in it, He'd be on the right, and then Royce would be on the left, Geo through the middle, and then Holland up front, or 
Gio maybe overlooked and be Royce through the middle, Mullen on the left, Hudson Adoy on the right, and Holland up front. Brandt is not a false nine. He's a false footballer. <laughs> Pain. If Kyle Hudson Doy might affect Rain's playing time, I would like everyone to sign a petition to get Rosa to play Hudson Doy's CB. <laughs> it will absolutely affect Gio. And it would be naive to think it wouldn't. Because if honestly, you guys, Gio is an inconsistent footballer. And I'm sorry, US Men's National Team fans, it's a fact. He did not have an overly good season last year. He was forced out on the wing, yes. Early this season, has he taken big steps and he looked good? Absolutely. Playing with swagger, playing good through the middle, a newish position as the 8. He, he has been played up a little bit at the 10. But guys, you can't tell me his last few performances haven't been overly impressive. And if he keeps getting subbed off and yanked off like this, it's a matter of time before they just simply don't start him. Gio has got to put in performances week in, week out to make sure that he's undroppable. At this moment, it wouldn't surprise me if Mullen's on the left, Hudson Doy's on the right, Royce's cam, Mullen, Mullen, Holland's up front. That is coming from my, that is just my opinion. Our US Men's National Team fans will not like to hear it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's going to happen because I wouldn't drop Gio. I wouldn't drop Gio yet. I'm saying that Hudson Odoi could absolutely affect his playing time here at Dortmund. Uh, and he'll have to put in performances week in, week out to make sure that that doesn't happen. Not worried. All, all right, I might be a little worried because Rosa mistreats Gio when subbing him. I would be, I would be worried, man. I would be worried. Because I do think there's an opportunity that if Gio isn't up to uh, um to par, he'll he'll be on the bench. Please, we don't want Hudson Adoy. No, we absolutely do want Hudson Adoy, man. We need a winger, and there's no other options really right now. Josh, why don't we buy a lot of players like Bayern if benefit them when we got injuries? No money, no money. The Sancho money went to balancing the books and bringing in Mullen. The only deals that, in my opinion, will get done will be loan deals. Maybe if there's like a for sure thing, like if St. Jude's was available for 15, I bet you Dortmund could have spent that money, but they're not keen to doing it, which is why we're going to see hopefully two loan signings. As Bayern did not get Hudson Adoy, they bought Leroy Sané instead for 75 mil, and they got Hudson Adoy for 35, and they would have really wanted to join them. If Calum Hudson Adoy goes to BBB, it's a better deal than Sané. I agree, especially because Sané has almost been a bust. Looks like Schalke are selling Come back to Norwich. I know. Weird. Weird. I'm going to toss that in there just for fun. Um, Pulisic under Tuchel before, and that didn't help him, referring to the comparability of Panovic and the BBB side. It's fair. Uh, Chelsea, unfortunately, won't give up Hudson Doi. Um, uh, Doi had permission to go on a loan, so again, nothing. Um, I think that I think the deal is going to go down. I don't know. Take it for what you will. I'm not always right. I am wrong a lot of the time. Uh, I think we'll get Hudson Adoy. I th I think there's something in there, and I think Dortmund will give Chelsea what they want. I don't I don't know what exactly Chelsea are playing for, but I think the deal will go down. And if it doesn't, we're in a heap of trouble. He's a center back. That's what matters. <laughs> um, Tasty UK says Bayern cannot buy BBB's best players, so they buy Leipzig's best players now because Red Bull is just a business. Um, he was 17. Yeah. Um, number seven on Gio is also, is also questionable. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I don't know. I like it. I think Gio does, is going to have a big, big future here at Dortmund, but I just need to see him be a little bit more consistent, man. What about Hazard? He played the first game. Again, man, Hazard has been an injury bug. He's following in the footsteps of his brother. He needs to stay healthy. He played in the 4-2-3-1, the opening game against Frankfurt on the right-hand side. And he looked good. And guess what? Injury picked back up. He needs to find a way to stay fit. Same as Zagadou. We have a lot of players who seem to be injured. And it's just, frankly, it's a little scary. Hey, mate, just tuned in. Quick recap. We are targeting two players, both on loan. Kyle hudson Adoy. it's going to depend on Chelsea at this moment. hudson Adoy wants Dortmund. Dortmund wants hudson Adoy. The, the transfer makes so much sense. Uh, it will more likely be just a one-year loan or a loan with an option to buy, with then, of course, Chelsea having that buyback. But it will all depend on Chelsea, because it doesn't seem like they're keen on letting him go without a replacement, which doesn't make a lot of sense to anybody. The other one, Martin Promovich from Wolfsburg, a player who's played with uh, Marco Rosa at Salzburg. He is almost a fourth-string center back. He can play as a center back, an outside center back, and, of course, a right back. Uh, he would be a great signing. We'd get him on a loan option to buy for 12 mil. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. 
Drop the seven for Ronaldo. <laughs> um, Hazard is not good anymore. I wouldn't say he's not good because uh, I thought he had, I thought he's had some pretty good performances, and his Frankfurt performance was fantastic. But he's injured all the time. Gioni's competition, though, it's like tactical manager says, having to consistently prove yourself raises your level. Iron, sharp, uh, iron sharpness, iron. Um, I take your point, but I mean, technically, he's always been competing against Brandt. That's a direct competition for Gio, and Gio's winning right now. <laughs> but that's why, at the same time, he's also getting subbed off early for Brandt. Uh, thoughts on Pronovich? Doesn't seem like a great signing. <laughs> I'm not really excited about it, to be honest. Uh, it's not a great signing. Uh, it's a great signing, I guess, at this moment in time. But, I mean, if we made this signing two months ago, it would look almost annoying. But considering that the deadline's coming up, we lack depth all over the back line. He can play as a right back. He can play as a center back. He's a risk, but it's a loan. It's a loan, guys. So what? What's? Would you rather no one come in? I know that we'd want a glamorous signing, but I've told you guys for months: do not expect one. Don't don't expect your Lacroix. Don't expect your Saint Juice. Expect someone similar who is available on our terms, and that's exactly what we found. And yes, he can play right back, but again, not a proper right back. I expect Munier to be the main man. And then even Chan could get reps there, but I think he will be ahead of pass lack. Uh, Lazaro signs for Benfica until June 2022. Makes sense. BB always have a good squad. Our defense always uh, is the problem. I agree. Is the deadline today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. What's up with Berkey? It seems like Berkey is going to stay. There was zero interest in him. It's a shame that Atletico didn't pick him up on loan. And now we have three keepers, and there's no reason for us to have three keepers. Uh, I don't. I feel bad for Berkey, but it's almost. It is what it is. Going to be very interesting. Uh, if we don't get anyone else, I will be pissed. I want two, man. I want these two signings. I want them badly. He has some good games against us for the first uh, backup, so I'm okay with it. Good to hear. Hazard is a different kind of player. He lacks pace and ability but puts multiple defenders at stakes. He's an excellent crosser of the ball. My favorite position for Hazard is in a 4-2-3-1, right attacking mid, where he can drill those balls right along the deck into the, the, the path of Erling Holland. That's where you'll see him at, at his best. But uh, he's been injured, so it's very hard to see him at his best. Talking about metrics, feel free to ignore this question if it's too off topic, but what percentage of your normal audience are from the U.S.? Since U.S. national team fans tend to pick BBB as their Bundesliga team. Um... I don't know any of the percentages, but our most of our viewers are our are, are biggest. Like it's pretty spread. We have con we have viewers from a lot of different countries, a lot of different countries, a lot of BBB fans out there. the The most viewers that we have come from the states, though. So there you are. I don't know if that's to do with the fact that I'm in Canada, or the, the Americans just love BBB. I don't know, uh, but they do lead the way. I think Germany is second, and then Canada. Um, I wouldn't take Hamilton Doy on loan. It will only benefit Chelsea if he does well at Chelsea. Will demand a bigger transfer fee if BBB want him on a permanent deal, which is why I would buy Hamilton Doy. Yeah, I, I agree. I would. My ideal, my ideal is loan with option to buy. Chelsea will never do that. There's no reason to think that they will. So my ideal, realistic one is we sign Callum Hudson Doy on a loan with option to buy. If he's good, we sign him for 35 mil. But there will be that buyback for Chelsea at, say, 50-60. So we get the player this year. That's a win. We can buy him if he's good. That's a win. Keep him for a couple years. And guess what? If he blossoms, we sell him back for a profit to Chelsea. It's a win-win-win all around. And Chelsea can get the player at any time that they want. So that is the ideal situation. But it could just be a loan. And I get your point. But there's no other options, guys. We can't spend money. Any, any winger we bring in will be on a loan. So again... Feel free to come up with other options at the wing back position, at the fullback, at the center back, at the wingers. That will be loans. That will be loans because that's what Callum Hudson Doyle will be. It will be a loan signing, and and I just don't see one that is that I would prefer more than Callum Hudson Doyle. If Chelsea can't sign Sal or Kunde, they won't give Hudson Doyle. And what stops this transfer now? I don't know. I'm curious to see if the Sal transfer would affect Callum Hudson Doyle. Obviously, different players. Sal can play. I put it that because he has played there for Atletico. He can play as a left back. He plays a left mid. plays a center mid. He's way better as a center mid. Hudson Doy is obviously a wing back slash winger. They don't really, they don't really, uh, they don't really change much. But um, I don't know. I don't know if that would affect it or not. 
Uh, Bayern have a tradition of robbing their titles from Bundesliga, so what they did to Leipzig this summer is just what they did to uh, Dortmund a few years ago. Shame. But again, it comes down to the fact that, yes, they're ballsy to do it, but expect it. Why are you doing a deal? We can do nothing about the Gutsa deal. There was a release clause. They activated it. Gutsa was selfish and said, up yours, Dortmund. I'm out the door. Going to go jo- join Bayern. And we let Lewandowski's contract go to a free. So, I mean, they took an opportunity. Is it confirmed? It is not confirmed. It is far- it's, it's, it's a bit away from a deal. And I bet you any money. I can maybe see the Pronovich deal going down today. But I don't see the Kyle hudson Doy deal going down to tomorrow if it goes down. We'll have to see. Sell Brandt. He's getting wasted. I don't think there's much of a market, and I don't think that Brandt wants to go. But if you guys are just tuning in, be sure to drop a like, uh, drop a sub well, help our growing community, and um, yeah, say hello in the chat. We got a nice little conversation about a couple targets today with Deadline Dame. Deadline 24-hour stream tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know about a 24-hour stream. I will definitely be on for a good chunk of time. Um, cause I think I, I, if the Callum Hudson Doyle deal does go down, I really do think it would be tomorrow cause I don't, I don't see it happening quite yet. Um, I mean, I'm grateful for Berkey, but honestly, he's not up to the level to play in the second Bundesliga. <laughs> Koble is just a relief. He is. Um, uh, bro, is the worst player I ever saw and I'm a Dortmund fan. <laughs> It'll, one of the worst performances I've ever seen was his against Bayern. Um, you need to do a Clueless Americans or a Canadian's Guide to the Bundesliga. <laughs> That'd be funny, I guess. Um, that'd be an interesting. That'd be an interesting idea. But um, Hazard has a lot of pace and he's dangerous on the ball. He's okay pace, but he's definitely dangerous on the ball. Uh, explains so many things, including myself. Um, tend to derail these chats with random U.S. national team questions. I'm from the U.S. I'm not a Dortmund fan. I just like the content. Uh, also, I get spread U.S. men's assassin propaganda. There you go. There you go. Now, I expected that this channel would have a good chunk of U.S. men's national team fans. We also do a lot of work with uh, Filippo from Tactical Manager. Got uh, co- a collaboration coming up with him, as well as Pete from Eleven Yanks. And also, I'm Canadian, so, you know, a little rivalry in there. It, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, Surely, BBB must have money to spend... So the, the money from Sancho went to balancing the books, covering the COVID costs, and buying Mullen. So for everyone out there who is curious, imagine that the Sancho money is gone. The only money I see Dortmund being able to actually spend is the money they got from Delaney, plus maybe a little bit extra. I could see them if they wanted to buy a player from 10 to 15 mil. But I don't think there's one out there that they feel like actually investing in up front. Anything I think that's going to go down for the rest of this Transfer window will be a loan with hopefully an option to buy. So it's no real risk and they can uh, address the situation at the end of the season to see if it's worth investing in or not. Sorry I'm late to the stream. If BBB needs a center back, what about Chris Richards? Uh, Nathan, my U.S. men's national team fans. Yes, and again, guys, I'd be fine with Chris Richards. He's arguably probably a better option. Uh, But Bayern have bigger cojones than most, and I don't see Bayern letting Chris Richards go to Dortmund. I can see them letting Chris Richards go to Hoffenheim, to Freiburg, to whoever else it may be, Uh, but when it gets towards the top six, seven teams in the Bundesliga, I think that's where Bayern draw their line. But yes, I mean, Chris Richards kind of hits what we need. Center back, right back, there you are. So, Wolfsburg's obviously, Wolfsburg's ready to do a deal, and I doubt Bayern would be. Why are we keeping Brandt? Brandt doesn't want to leave. Not a big fan of um, Pongovic. And, and again, guys, it's what it is. We need, we need a body in. Like it or hate it, we need a body in. And he can play as a right back. He can play as a center back. He's available on a loan with an option to buy. He's familiar with Marco Rosa. I don't see the negative effects. Just the big negative thing is he's not Lacroix. <laughs> he's not St. Just. He's not the household name we all wanted and maybe expected. But I never expected that. I expected finding a player like him, and it is what it is, and with the window coming down, I could care less. Just get this signing done, get a body in, and give us some defensive coverage before it's too late, so we don't have to see Witzel at center back, and we don't have to see Passlack at right back. The signing is important. It's not glamorous, but it is exactly what we need. Chris Richards is a Dortmund without an obligation. (laughs) 
Eh. Uh, why people complain about the potential signing of Pronovich, we lack CBs and money right now. I think it's just because it's not a glamorous signing. We were linked to Lacroix. Remember that, guys? We were linked to Lacroix. I don't know how serious it was. I couldn't imagine us getting the deal done. Um, but, I mean, I wasn't expecting that deal to go down. I think Josh is setting himself up for an OG <laughs> of Canadian men's national team channels, sort of like the U.S. men's national team channels a few years ago. Blew up when the U.S. men's national team got better, but I don't know any other Canadian channels. Yeah, I don't know. Our, our Canadian content is a lot of fun to do as well. Being Canadian, it's having the most glorious Canada's national team I've ever seen. It's a lot of fun. Plus, I love doing work with Tactical Manager. I'm really excited to do some work with Pete as well from 11 Yanks. So, yeah, it, it's a cool little addition. And it, it's one that obviously comes from my heart because I'm Canadian. And I'm hoping it, it, it gets some traction, especially with the uh, World Cup qualifiers as well as we're guaranteed a World Cup. But we'll have to see how the way it goes. Um, but it's, it's been fun. Gives us a lot of content to do on the channel as well when the summer months come and international breaks. It's it's a beautiful little thing to bring into uh, our Dortmund community here. Liverpool fan either was saying he'd love Brandt. Surprised he even heard that he lives in Geo's shadow. <laughs> um, Holland versus Mullen is the September 2nd. Please consider doing a watch along. I will definitely be... Uh, I'll have to take a look at my schedule, but I plan on doing a bunch of watch alongs. Um, primarily... Germ, Germ, the German men's national team or games that have Dortmund players. Mall and Holland is a beautiful one. I think producer T was looking into that one. I think he sent me a picture of it. But yeah, I'll, I, there's a strong, probably an 80% chance I will do a watch along on that. Uh, Arsenal versus Norwich in two weeks will decide the outcome of the Gunners. <laughs> yeah, maybe even Norwich. I uh, hope we get a right back. We need one immediately. Seems like we're coming close, but... It will be a center back who can play right back at the best option right now. I'm U.S. based in German, and but German born. Very cool, very cool, my man. Um, Josh, when is the final day of the transfer window in Germany, in England? I still, I believe it's the same as England. I could be wrong. Correct, correct me if, if I'm wrong, guys. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Josh, I'm 100% sure when Bayern lose Lewandowski, it's more easy for us to win the league. It will. I would have loved for Lewandowski to leave this year, but I just don't think it'll happen. Um, Bayern would let him go to Dortmund. You think so? There's a chance. I mean, there could be a chance, but I feel like they would look at other options. And if there was a Hoffenheim, for example, interested, I think that Bayern would be smart and give him to Hoffenheim rather than, than Dortmund. Because also, he'd probably get more play time at Hoffenheim than Dortmund. But it'd be interesting, man. It'd be interesting. I wouldn't have any issue with it. What do you think about Sabitzer moving to Bayern, to Bayern's bench? I think he'll get some play time, but it'll be a hard one to, to fit in because they play a 4-2-3-1. I don't see Sabitzer as a 6. Kimmich and Goretzka are very hard to uh, to go away, but it seems like uh, Tolisso will be heading out. So Sabitzer could be getting minutes as a CDM, which I don't think he's at his best there. Uh, he could also, get, I guess, get minutes as a cam. But you have Mola there. It'll be a depth-ish signing. I don't know. Good signing nonetheless. I expected Buchanan to... Or a second string US Men's National Team now that Dest is a starter and Everson be loaned out. Uh, Buchanan. Who knows? Hashtag Bromovich would be a blessing in disguise. I, the th reason I think that might be the case is because of uh, the connection with Marco Rosa. Do you think Mullen lacks uh, physicality presence to replace Holland as number nine in the future? It kind of reminds me of replacing Lewandowski with Immobile. That's a fair, that's a fair shout because... He's nowhere near the type of stri striker Holland is. Mullen's not. And from the opening performances watching Mullen, he looks like a winger to me. Let me know if you guys disagree, but when I look at Mullen after these performances, he is he's a winger through and through. Um, I'm curious to see how he would play as a lone striker. Very different attributes to, to Holland. I think it'll depend on how this season goes because I think there's a strong chance Mullen gets kind of transitioned into a winger this year. Josh, what do you prefer, the 18-19 BBV or our 2021-22 team? Ooh, I had no faith in our 18-19s team. I think the fact that we almost won the league was mostly to do with Bayern shooting themselves in the foot rather than us doing a job. I think if Paco was uh, pretty much healthy all year and Royce as well, we would have won it, uh, which is crazy. But I think this team is honestly better than that team. I think that that was just an interesting season. Uh, Josh, BBB are in a favorable Champions League group. BBB can qualify from. Do you think that Callum Hudson-Doy will at least, and at least the center back, will put Witzel back in the midfield? 
to challenge Bayern for a title. It absolutely will. Signing a center back should push Witzel back in the midfield. Um, I think adding these two signings would des desperately help us in, in the chase to compete for the title. But there's still a lot of question marks I have ar around this team. Uh, I still don't think there's a solid formation we've played. I'm hoping Marco Rosa does give a 4-2-3-1 or a 3 Honestly, a three-four-two-one because I think Mullen has to play or Holland has to play as a, as a lone striker. I do. We'll have to see though. We'll have to see. Um, consider a deadline day a deadline day stream. I will one thousand percent do a deadline day stream. Um, and this one will be interesting. I did one last year. I think I did it for about two hours, but Dortmund were doing nothing. The only thing was seeing if Sancho was going to go, which we all knew he wasn't. Imagine Josh Sargent scores six goals against Arsenal. I know. I know. Um, I was wondering if they wouldn't deal with us because of the rivalry. I would imagine they wouldn't. That's my guess. Goldbridge collab with you, Josh. I doubt I could get Goldbridge on. But I am, I do have a Chelsea, uh, if the Hudson Adoy deal goes down, I do have a Chelsea YouTuber coming on to do a, uh, to do a, to do a video. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not going to give anything away of who it is, but it should be fun. Uh, do you think Hudson Doy is coming? Personally, personally, I do. I don't think Dortmund are going to let us slip away with this. We need two players. We need these two players. Center back, right back, winger. I would feel so much more relaxed. So much more relaxed. And I just, there's something there with the Hudson Doy, And I think Dortmund will do whatever they can do to get, get it in. Maybe it's just a loan deal for a season, but I think they'll get it done. Mullen don't look like a number nine. Play him on the wings. And I agree. I agree. I thought he had a promising performance in Hoffenheim on the wing. I do. Holland has to play by himself. He doesn't want another striker beside him. Especially when he plays for Norway. They play in a 4-4-2 and they got Sorloff out there and it just pisses him right off. <laughs> um, I think Kalmas and Doi will be really exciting. I honestly think that he could be better than Sancho. Uh, um, once he settles in, I think he would chip on his shoulder and a point to prove. I agree with that and I think there's a massive potential with Hudson Doi. I don't think that he will find it at Chelsea. I don't know if he will get to the level of Jane Sancho, but I think that it would be a perfect move for us and him. Who do you prefer, Holland or Lewandowski? Right now, one single game, I'd prefer Lewandowski. I think he's the best striker in the world. Uh, long term, Holland. I mean, obviously, I think he's ten over ten years younger. But Holland is still a weapon. But he's still got he's still got uh, opportunity to grow. Uh, Lewandowski is a finished product, obviously, and he's just on form that's unstopped, unstoppable. He's scored in 13 straight Bundesliga games. The record is 16, so he's a few ga games away from doing another record. Where do you think this BBB team, as it stands right now, can go in the Champions League? Every year for Dortmund, man, I say quarters. Quarters should be the bare minimum goal, and uh, this year, max, to be fair. I don't know about max. The Champions League's been a wide-open contest, so... I mean, Chelsea won it last year. I don't think they were deserved winners. I think it was they were surprised that they won it. Um, but, I mean, it was cool-ish It was cool -ish that they did win it because they weren't expected to. You've seen Tottenham reach a final. You've seen you've seen uh, Barca get knocked out by all sorts of teams over the years. Uh, it's an open comp contest, which makes it exciting. But quarters should be the minimum requirement for Dortmund. Hey, Josh, only 24 hours left. We're going to be very busy on the channel, my man. Mullen, Holland, cuts Hudson away front three. With Royce as your cam, I like it. But that leaves out Geo. Makes our US Men's National Team fans a little mad. Um, I have mixed feelings about Bromovich. Uh, yeah, I know why. Everyone knows why. But again, I'm going to try to relax everyone with the fact that it's our only option. We need, we, need a, we need a center back who can play right back. Or a right back who can play center back. He's a center back who can play right back. He comes in depth and he's familiar with our manager. If you're Marco Rosa and you're experienced with this guy, it's a win-win for you. It really is. Because you are, you know what you're going to get. Obviously, he might have had some type of way to convince the player to come. And it looks like this deal is going to go down. And I am, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I really do, do hope it does go down. But I mean, I got my eye on Hudson Adoy too. Because I arguably think that he'll be the most important signing. Because it gives us an ability to play a proper 4-2-3-1. I'm saying quarters, minimum, max, final. We get an easy path. You never know. How does Dorman expect to win the league when Bayern gets Upamakano, Sabitzer, and we get Bromovich? It's a joke. Um, we still need a right back, and we're not getting one. Ah, it's fair. It's a fair statement. When you put it that way, it hurts. Um, 
but it's a situation we're in. We're going to have to make make do with it. Um, just because Bayern picked up Sabitzer doesn't mean he's going to fly into this team. I don't find a place with them. They spe they bought in a very talented player to sit on the bench. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I get your point, though. But we have no money to spend. We need to bring in bodies. Maybe hudson Adoy blossoms. Bromwich could very well blossom, too. Maybe we play in a back three, and he becomes a weapon at outside right center back. Only time will tell, but that's a fair point. Uh, Holland needs to win the Bundesliga Golden Boot to prove that Lewandowski is a tap-in merchant. I wouldn't say Lewandowski's a tap-in merchant. Lewandowski scores incredible goals. Free kicks. Uh, I remember the goal, a couple goals last year. I mean, he's hitting them from outside the 18. He, he's an incredible striker. He, he really is. It hurts to say, but he is absolutely not a tap-in merchant. He's a bully in the box. He'll put anything and everything in you put in front of him. How many ball and doors for Holland? Um, he's got a long career and a good opportunity to get it, but... Hopefully a few, man. Hopefully a few. But we'll have to see, man. Um, Juden hudson Adoy, What a lovely broski. Uh, Josh buying a share in Dortmund anytime soon? I should do that. Someone told me to do that a while ago. Um, based on Canada's performance in the Gold Cup, do you really think that they can make top three in the World Cup or make it to the playoffs? The woman's success has put pressure on the men's team. I think top... Three or four should be the absolute goal. I mean, seeing what they did at the Gold Cup against Mexico with a B squad, now with all the other players coming back, it's up to them. So whether they can pick up points away from home is going to be the, the, the deal breaker for them, but they're good enough to do it. Uh, but this is their first experience. Nerves might get to you. We're going to have to wait and see. Unpopular opinion, but I think Muller, Lewandowski, and Neuer wouldn't have won the title so often. I think without Muller, Lewandowski, and Neuer, they wouldn't have. Oh, I absolutely agree. Those three are so important. Um, Lewandowski's a fraud. Josh, I want to hop on the on the stream. Um, of the U.S. Men's National Team in Canada game, will you represent my boys? Um, I just want to hop on the live stream of the U.S. Men's National Team in Canada game with you to represent my boys. Ooh, I can maybe bring you on. I can maybe bring you on. But you got you got the American flag, my man. You got the American flag. Can be going against you. Um. Yeah, I know, Pramovich, he's Croatian just like me, so I've been watching very closely for some time. Ah, interesting, interesting. Well, give me, give, me, give me a comment, my man. Give me a comment on how you think he would break in, or what formation you think he would be most useful for. Are you looking him as an outside right center back in a 3-4-1-2, a center back in a 4-2-3-1? Can he play as a right back? If you're familiar with the player, feel free to put in some... Some comments, because I haven't watched him too much. Just highlight videos and, and talk into a couple people on Twitter. Um, watch some videos. Uh, he played fine, similar to me. But I mean, highlight videos are supposed to uh, are supposed to be about uh, making the player look good. So I definitely take your point. You need to be honest about Lewandowski. Yeah, he's a killer, man. If Lewandowski leaves Bayern, the Bundesliga opens up. I agree. All the North American games are at friggin' 5 a.m. I can't see any of them. Ooh. Josh, in no transfer window, would the first team sign a second team's coach, first center back, and C CM? Yeah, yeah, it hurts. Um, Josh, i just seen the potential on BB Network. He's perfect for us. I like the hype. I like the hype. I've been going on Twitter seeing if any... Because I bet you that deal goes down today. I bet you that deal goes down today. But I have a strong feeling that the hudson Adoy will go down to the wire. And that makes me so nervous because I think it's so important, man. Tottenham and Barcelona have reached agreement for Emerson, though. Interesting to any U.S. Men's National Team fans. Sergio Roberto can fill in at right back. Huh. That is, uh, that is interesting. Um, Josh, we are no longer linked with Calum hudson -Odoi. We are absolutely linked with Calum hudson -Odoi, unless there's been just some real breaking news that I haven't, uh, that I haven't seen. Um, but the last thing that's gone up in terms of Calum hudson Doy is the fact that hudson Doy remains in talks with Chelsea. They want hudson Doy and his representatives want Chelsea to leave and they want to go on a loan to BVB. However, it's up to Chelsea to decide whether hudson Doy's development is best served on loan or as part of their squad. So the, the decision is going to come down to Chelsea and it seems like it's still open, especially when the player says, I want out. It's not really ideal to keep him, but... Josh, are you going to hop on with Tack and Pete Sunday pregame? Um, more than likely. I'm going to talk with them, I'm, I'm assuming, soon. We're going 
We have a couple of collabs uh, scheduled with them. I'm not sure what the game will be. We'll do the watch along on our channel as well for the Canadians, but I'll try if I can to hop on for like an, a, a preview right before the game, maybe talk about the starting 11, something like that, like I did last time. But we're going to have a preview going up for tax. We're going to have a combined best 11 with Tactical Manager on our channel and some fun also today. But we're going to wrap up the stream for today, guys. There hasn't been anything... Uh, there hasn't been anything breaking today. It doesn't seem like a deal is quite done. I might be alive another time today if a deal gets done. Um, I'll have to wait and see. Going to meet with Pete now. So we're going to have to wait and see, man. We're going to have to wait and see. Last comment of the day is going to the question I asked. I think his best position is center back. He would be good at the back three. He has pace, but not really consistent. Awesome, my man. Awesome. If you guys are still with us on your way out, be sure to drop a like on the stream one last time. Subscribe if you guys are new, and we will be back maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure, but keep an eye on the transfer rumors, and uh, I will see you when something happens. Hopefully, a couple deals go down. But thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.